Good afternoon, everybody. This is Pat Walker at MissionWinners.com, and I am doing a training video for all of us. Again, my name is Pat Walker, and the site I started with is MissionWinners.com. The reason I did this was to help people, to educate people. It's a big portion of my background. I've been investing for 31 years. I used to be a broker and an advisor, got out of the business in 2000 and became a private investor. And I have a passion for the markets, but I also have a passion for teaching it. I'm an IBD meetup co-leader and have been for over 10 years. And my goal is this, just to explain things so that people have an understanding and a foundation. I always say this, and it's one of my foundations. And I learned this from a professor of mine in graduate school. To know that 2 plus 2 equals 4 is great. To know why 2 plus 2 equals 4 is power. And it's transferable power and knowledge to other situations. So it's not just a case of memorizing 2 plus 2 equals 4. It's the idea of understanding why. So here's a big portion of our foundation. And again, much of this information comes from MarketSmith, much of this comes from Investors Daily, and from my own research. About 49, well, this is straight from IBD, 49, 50% of a stock prices movement is related to the industry group and the sector that it's in. So we key on leading industry groups. But then I will also tell you this, from years of research, what have I found? I have found that stocks that have either really good earnings and or really good sales and they are in leading groups increase the odds of performing well. So it's what I look for. So I start with the industry groups and then I narrow it down to the stocks. Well, I want to show you something here and this is for everybody. This is the Market Smith program right here. Okay. And what do we do with it? And it's very simple. And I'm going to show you here real quick. Over here on this tab on the left, and I'm going to move slow, screens and alert. I'm going to click. This is a chart. You can see a chart. And up here at the top, I know the cursor flashes. Daily charts up at the top left. Weekly charts. Monthly charts. Five-minute charts. I don't really look at intraday charts too much. But you can frame it up here. Now let's look at this chart a minute. It's got the down here at the bottom going across here. You see where these red arrows are at the bottom of the chart? It's got the earnings numbers and the revenue numbers quarter after quarter. Over here in the left hand side, you've got two great big white boxes. It gives their earnings growth and earnings estimates for this year and the next year. But it also gives the industry group rank and accumulation and distribution earnings per share rank. Up at the top, it gives you the name of the company, average daily volume, and this is a daily chart. So what do we do with this? It's very, very simple. We look at charts and we put together list of stocks. But before we can find good stocks, we've got to make screens. You make a screen, it produces a group of stocks, you take that group and you put it in a list. So we need to make good screens. I'll say this again, my research has pointed out through the years. And again, I've been doing this since 1986 stocks that have either really good earnings and or really good revenue growth outperform other companies. And you can say, oh, gosh, there's always an exception to the rule. Fine, fine. I'm not after the one out of 20 exception. I'm looking for the other 19 out of 20 that I could buy. That's what I'm looking for. So let's run through this. Over on the left, there's a screens tab. You see where it says screens? Over on the far left, I'm gonna click that. These are some of my screens. There's a bill screen. There's a master screen, stocks in the top 10 groups. 40% earnings, you see this? Right there, 40% earnings. And on down the list, right here, I can show you, and I will, I'm going to click Open Edit, and I will show you. On the left-hand side, these are the constraints that I put in on the screen. So, again, this is MarketSmith. If you wanted to change, like, the earnings per share rating, you can put a different number in there. If you wanted to change the relative strength rating, 
you can put a different number. It, the choice is yours. I look for good companies. You can say, well, you might miss something. I'm trying to stack the deck in my favor. So these are the things I look for. This is on the bill screen, all right? This is taken straight from Bill O'Neill, all right? This is what we look at. But I want to show you one of my other key screens, and it's right here. Two below here. 40% earnings in the top 40 groups. You see where it says that? It's highlighted right now. 40% earnings in the top 40 groups. These over here on the right are the constraints for it. You can say, well, how, how do you put in those constraints? And it's simple, and I'm going to show you. You can click the Smart Select Ratings, and what's it do? It takes you to a page, and over here, you have boxes that you can fill in. Like you see this, I don't have an earnings per share filter, but relative strength, I have a relative strength of 77 or higher. SMR, I don't have that checked off. Accumulation distribution, A or B. Why do I have that? Because I want stocks that are being bought. They're being accumulated. So you can pick what you want. So then you can say, well, Pat, what about earnings? I click on the earnings tab and it goes to another slot in this center. And over here you can see we're down here at point number five. I have 40%. What am I saying? That I only want stocks in the MarketSmith universe that have earnings up 40% or higher. So I put 40 there. And I put in there include stocks with negative comparison quarter. Why? Because their earnings might be up 40% versus a year ago when they lost money. I want to look at those also. You could say, what else do you have here? Price and volume. I'll click on price and volume. Stocks, first line, price. See where it says price right there? Price, over $9 a share. Okay, the next thing is I'm taking a look at, and I'll scroll down here and just show you. I scroll down, through, I leave all these other things blank. I don't have anything to do with them. Now that's just me but I'm trying to make a good screen. Moving averages, point number 12. It's over the 50-day moving average. That's what I want. I don't want junk, and it makes it easy. So that's what I've got on this. I don't have, you see where it's got industry and sector? I don't have individual biotechnology stocks. So you've got these constraints, and I'm gonna show it to you. You can take a look, relative strength over 77. It's within 15% of 52-week highs. It's in the top 40 industry groups. It's over $9 a share. An accumulation distribution of A or B. It's over the 50-day. It does at least 150,000 shares a day. I don't really like to go under that because sometimes they can get too wild. That's just me. I am not telling you what to do, but my research and experience shows you want stocks that you can get in and out of. Accumulation, or excuse me, industry group A, but we also have up here the top 40 groups. Last quarter's earnings up 40% or higher. No biotech. What's the total number? 98 stocks. So we've made a screen with these criteria and now we run it. And we click right here and over here, and then you raise this up. It says 98 stocks found. Now I'm going to show you a great trick. I'm going to raise this window up. You hit this black box right over here, and it raises the window up and populates it. Here's the other trick for you. I have it sorted by industry group rank first, and it's locked. What does that mean? It means that all the stocks in the same industry group with the constraints from this screen, 40% earnings, they're all grouped together. Isn't that cool? So I don't have to sit there and say, well, uh, let's see, LPL Financials here, and this one's way down here. They're all together. Stocks are like birds. They fly together. If you start seeing one flying, it increases the odds the other will fly too. It's a corny analogy, but it works. The next point is this. I start by industry group rank first, and then I sort by percent off high second. And I'm going to lock that here. And what does this mean? And it's very simple. LPL Financial is the number one stock in this group 
and it's the closest to 52-week highs. Credit Suisse is the number two stock in this group, and it's the next closest to 52-week highs. Ameriprise is number three. This is 0.2% on 52-week highs, 1.31, 1.93, 2.75. So now you have a list of stocks, and I'll show you something really nice. You can just click on it, and the first chart comes up. And I drop this window down, and I drop this window over, pull it over, and there is my chart. Is there any entry right here on this chart? No, not really, but there was right here, and there was right here. And again, down at the bottom, it shows their earnings numbers. So we're just gonna scroll for a minute. There's Credit Suisse. It gaps a little bit. There's really nothing to do with it. Ameriprise had a little shelf here and lifted off. Had a nice bottom right in here and lifted off. By the way, just because it's on the screen in the list, is it a go-to like, oh, well, I just gotta buy these. No, you have to look for entries. Interactive brokers, look at this. Look at this nice move right here. Had earnings up 40% right here. Had a little shelf right here and it moved up. What is it doing right now? It's forming another shelf. Earnings were up a minimum of 40%. It's got good estimates. By the way, I make a key list video every night <clears throat> and I share it with members at missionwinners.com. On every stock on the, that's gonna be on the key list for that night, I've got the chart up and I do a chart analysis on every one of them. You can say, well, how many is it? That's like 20 stocks, 20, 15 to 25 stocks. That's it. DQ, DQ had a good move. I'm going to keep showing you this. There's First Solar. First Solar was on the key list. We bought this right here. We're still in it. First Solar. Now we get into computer networking. Retail shoes. There's Caterpillar. It's not only a key list stock, it's a max list stock. Look at that shelf right there. People bought this admission winners, pushing through 140, and it's walking up the eight day. They're still in it. Why sell it? It's moving up. That is how you develop a screen on MarketSmith. Again, I was in the beta test group years ago on Daily Graphs Online. This is a wonderful tool. There are other good companies out there to do this with. I'm not saying MarketSmith is the only one, but I've had people ask me, how do you set up screens on MarketSmith? That's how. Then, I'll show you something. I run my screens, 40% earnings. Then I have another one here, 45% sales for the last two quarters average. And I put these together. I run my list, my screens, and it makes a list. I have several lists. And what do I do? I take those lists of stocks and I put it all together. And when I'm done, I have a list of, we'll say, 120 stocks. This is 98 right here. I take off the junk when I'm doing it. And what am I looking for? The best of the best. I want to show you one here, by the way. This was on the key list. This was a key list stock right here. And I just would like to show you. Look at, I'll drag this over. This is, again, why I like MarketSmith. Folks, it's in a leading group. Last quarter's earnings up 162%. The quarter before that up 950. The quarter before that up 200. You see that clean and simple base right there? That's what we're looking for. Lifting off $15 a share. Look at the volume come up. You can say, well, 15 to 20. Eh, I don't know. Five points on 15 last time I checked. You're up 30% on your money, folks. And look at this. It's walking up the eight period moving average. You let it work. That's what we're looking for. Leading groups, leading stocks. Leading stocks normally have great numbers. That's MarketSmith. I take this list and I run through it every night and I pick out the ones that are the best and that's my key list. And that's the list of stocks that I send to the VIP members at missionwinners.com and those are the stocks that we're looking to buy the next day. I make a video and a key list with the stock ticker symbol and the buy price to the penny that we're looking for. And that's how we do it. We systematize things. I hope this helps you. This is MarketSmith. 
I highly recommend it if you don't have it, and I couldn't do this without it. So thank you very much, and I look forward to working with you and working for you. If you have any questions, get in touch with me and give me a holler. And I'll just share this. Have a good weekend. Get away from the machines. Abraham Lincoln has a great quote. If I have six hours to chop down a tree, I'll spend four hours sharpening my ax. The best thing we can do, folks, is to get away from time, from time to time, away from the machines and away from the computers and give your mind, give your body a rest. Take care of yourself because what you've got, when you look at your arms and you look at your hands, it has to last us a lifetime. So let's take care of it. Take care. I thank you. Have a good, safe weekend. Be safe out there, whatever you are doing, wherever you are, and be careful with the weather. And I thank you. I hope this helps you.